All right, guys, we're here on the court, and now we're gonna do this drill progression that I really like. I like doing it with all my players, just especially if I'm working on first serves uh, to make sure they're accelerating really from that trophy position at the top and really accelerating. Just getting a little bit looser up here. Sometimes people, you know, my, but the problem I see a lot is people end up like pushing the serve a lot like this and never really snaps. Uh, so this is why I like to do this drill progression. The first thing we do is actually drop the racket get a little football and throw the football. A lot of players do this. I actually have a, a theory that Americans have good serves because they grow up throwing footballs. It's just sort of very similar mechanics. I apologize for my, my terrible throwing here because I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I, I like to do it. It's a great way to warm up the shoulders and just like let it launch. So I do this, this is one of my, my players. We do this every time he's about to serve. So just nice and easy throw, throw the football. You can do a few just to warm up and then slowly start getting a little bit more, a little bit quicker off the top here. Obviously with time, start adding your body as well. I actually like throwing it a bit higher cause it's a bit more, um, more like tennis where you're having to, to extend up right here on the football, throw a little bit more here sometimes. So actually throwing it up a little bit, kind of making it go nice and high sometimes can be helpful just to allow the, the shoulder to really go up and then again from that trophy position the entire the entire um goal with this real progression is to from trophy position feel like you guys are really accelerating that sort of like lasso so just a few football throws here just to start it's perfect nice dropped it <laughs> all right so the second drill we're gonna do and i really love this one um, we're going to be start here from the service line. This is going to really help you work on that pronation, accelerating at the top pronation. The key is to be really quick up, right from here, very fast up. After that, it just sort of slows down naturally, but like from the trophy position, accelerating, accelerating up. And what we're gonna do is try to hit just from a half swing here. So put yourself in trophy position, not full stroke, trophy position. Okay, don't use too much of your legs, just use a good amount of shoulder here, this lasso, right? Letting the racket drop and then try to hit as short as possible on the box and as fast as possible. Okay, so you see you get there, I got a cone there and from here I'm not gonna toss it too far, far up, a little bit more in front and I'm just gonna try to smack it as much as possible. Again, not using too much legs here, I'm just going up here and I really want this to happen really quickly, right? So here. Boom, as fast as possible. See how I have to accelerate highest contact point, right? Put your racket up here, check what your highest contact point is, right? Right here, boom, and then from here we can pronate, obviously cut it if we needed to, but here for this, we're going bah, as fast as possible, see? Boom, All right? So Wesley, come here, do a few. Okay, so half stroke, good. Okay, there you go, you pulled it. Make sure you're pronating, try to short as possible on the box. Here you go. Good, there you go, even shorter. There you go. Good, highest contact point you can have, really accelerating up, nice. Pronate it a little bit more. That's how you're gonna make it go short on the box, huh? Nice, there it is, short on the box. That's what we wanna see. Two more, and you can do it, again, if you're training this at home, a switch is still kind of pulling. You see, it's a couple of things that he did here, still kind of bringing the chest in too much, right? I think that's why a lot of people try to serve big. They bring the chest in too much instead of actually allowing the racket to move more with like the shoulder here not bringing the chest too much and again pushing it. That's when he misses, he pushes. So here, boom, you see, making sure the racket, the shoulder is leading the way, right? Boom, boom, as fast as possible. Again, try to not use too much of your chest. Try to make sure, all right, just the helicopter here. Boom, there you go. Like that. Push it, come on, make it short, make it short. Come on, make it short. 
Nice, that's the way. Love that. Love that. Couple more. Nice, that was perfect. That was great. Okay, as you can see, very good. Nice, very good to work on this. Like this being really quick. Again, highest contact point. We're not jumping too much here, so highest contact point. Good pronation. Try to hit that cone. Let's see if I can hit it on the last one. Ah, let's step out a little bit. Great drill, can do 10, 15, 20, however many. Um, I like to do around 20, especially with my players, a little bit more advanced. Get out here, and by the time they're actually serving, they're, they're really warmed up, they're war their shoulders really warmed up and ready to go. All right, so now we threw the football, did the drill there at the box, now we're gonna back up, we're gonna start actually hitting some serves. But first, um, I wanna do sort of the same, a similar thing to what we just did all the way in the service box, but from back here. So again, not using too much of your legs. Let's not say we're not using legs, but the entire point of this drill is more about allowing this, this understanding this mobility of the shoulder here. I think, again, some, too many people, they end up just chesting it. They don't allow the racket to move freely through the serve. Trust me, I know, I used to double fall a lot. I used to not like to serve. So I get it, like you're not fully comfortable with really making this throw. So from here, and again, we don't wanna do it too much so the shoulder doesn't get too sore, but um, we're gonna just do serves without using the legs. So full motion here like this, but just allowing this to happen. Even if you have to step into the court a little bit, that's fine. The idea here is highest contact point. We need to understand that this is the position that the racket will be able to snap. If we're allowing the, the ball to get too low, then we're gonna end up pushing the ball, right? Highest contact point so we can snap. So again, I'm gonna go full motion here, but without really using the legs, I'm just gonna really make sure, wow, I'm like letting it go. Okay, so just here, no legs, just pull, letting it go. Just completely letting it go, not to worry about making it. Just fully let it go. And see, even without jumping, I can still hit a big surf just because I'm at the highest contact point that I can hit the serve here. It's highest contact point. See, I just go here, just letting it go, sort of working on that pronation. Boom. All right, so Wesley, do a couple here. Again, not using too much of your legs. The toss can be a bit lower here. Toss doesn't have to be super high. No, full, full motion. Full motion, but with no legs. Just highest contact point. And really, there you go. Nice. Just make sure you see that ball peaking. You go get it. Again. Really get into the course. So that was great. That was a great serve. Sometimes we end up like using the legs a lot, and we have actually like lose the tempo of the serve, the tempo of up here, right? Like sometimes it's like go and then and then lose the tempo. Where if you're just sort of like nice and easy here, you actually hit a pretty good serve, and then eventually you just kind of add your legs to it. Here, do it again, Wes. A couple more. Just nice and loose. Boom. Nice and loose, try to pronate it at the top. Highest contact point you can get. There you go, highest contact point you can get. You see he's, he's already, his shoulder's pretty loose. Just hitting the ball nice and big. There you go. One more. Nice, and you can do it from both sides. Again, we're doing this side because I like it better. I do it on this side because I like it better for the pronation here, but you can do it here on this side as well, just sort of falling into the core. You see, I'm allowing my body to go into the core, all right? That's drill number three, not really a drill, just again, working on that fluidity of the motion. All right, now we really loosen up the, the shoulder. I think we can really let it go now. Now it's time to add the legs. Right, and a good drill to, to add the legs, and it's gonna be a little awkward, some people might, might struggle with it, but it's actually serving on one leg, on the back leg. So if I'm righty, my, my right foot is the back leg, and I'm gonna be here, right? So I'll just try to jump, pushing um, from my back leg. I think a lot of people end up, like they lean forward a lot on their front leg, and they, the, left, the back leg doesn't actually get to push. And you see all the good pro players, they land like all the way here with the legs up here, right? Because they push. This happens 
because push happens from the back leg, right? It's impossible to push and not do that. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to add this right leg, regardless if you are here, a, a more uh, pinpoint server or a platform server, doesn't really matter. So you get the, the balls here. This one I actually like doing half swing again, just because it's a little bit easier on the balance. So rack it up here, get on one leg, the back leg, toss it and don't toss it too high because you're going to lose balance. Toss a bit low and push. Okay. Again, one leg, toss it here, boom, push it forward. I want to see you guys landing inside the court. Okay. Landing inside the court. All right, Wes, does it do a couple? Yeah, it's difficult, it's okay. Push, push off that back leg. One, no balance. Good. Really push, come on. Toss a little bit lower just so you don't have to like be on the one leg for too long. Come on, load up, load up, load the leg. Feel the load and go. Nice, good. Yeah, a couple more. Nice. Come on, can do a bit more. Come on. Nice, good. Again, take a little break. Again, ready to go. Don't do anything before you feel like you're on a good position here. Don't not moving too much. Here, rack it up. Okay, toss it in front of you land in front of inside the court. You see, I'm always landing inside the court up here. Boom. See, like even in one leg, I can hit the surf pretty big. Okay. Again, one last one here. Boom. Bow. All right. And the last thing, of course, serving, full out. Whatever motion that you got, come out here, try to put everything together. So let's recap, All right? First, it was the shoulder, really allowing this to happen, right? This from trophy position, the quickness of the lasso here, right? Bah. Trusting that if you actually do this, you hit a good serve, that you don't have to go here and sort of push it like that, right? Like kind of like, oh, like that. See, like the racket never leads the way. I want to feel like the racket first, my shoulder will lead the way, but then the racket after the contact will lead the way, okay? So that's the main thing. Then obviously the second part, you're really using the, the right leg, the hips. Of course, if you understand this part of like here, pushing the hips out, using the legs, you don't have to bend so much if you don't feel like you can get up again, right? Like you just utilize the legs enough where you can go again to the highest contact point. I can't stress enough highest contact point you can have. It's going to allow that, the racket to actually move very quickly, okay? So when I put everything, everything together, there you go, bounce the ball, nice and easy, okay. And you see, that was a big serve. That felt good, didn't feel like I put too much effort, effort into it. Lower body, upper body connected. Loose upper body, lower body pushing up. That's gonna help you get more power, okay? Just three more. Obviously, we did a lot of pronation here, but the same applies if we want to kind of cut it into the T as well, right? And you just change the direction. That's all it is. But again, I want to connect the lower body, loose upper body, and hit it. Can get it. That wasn't the highest contact point. Come on, Karu. Highest contact point. Go up and go get it. See the difference? All right, Wes, come on. Show us the way. There you go. Remember, don't, need, don't feel like you need to overuse the legs. 
use it just to get up to highest contact point. That wasn't highest, that was a little pushy. So whenever you guys see it, he has that, that issue. Goes long because it didn't snap at the top. Go. That was it. Falling into the court, that was very good. Very, putting the right effort into it. Again, go peak, go. Now, see, it wasn't the highest contact point. The ball dropped too much. See the ball peak, go get it. See the ball peak, go get it. Go get it. That's it. There you go. You see the ball peak, you go get it. Nice. There it is. Come on. Give me three more. Peak. Go get it. That was a bit pushy. See that difference? Sometimes when the racket goes a bit too here and not, it didn't snap. That's where it goes long. That's it. Last one. The last good one. Oh, what was that toss? Come on, pick up. If the toss is bad, pick it up. Yeah. The top. Go. Now, oh, I got dropped a little bit too much. Come on. Highest contact point. Watch it peak. Smack it. You got to go get it. Go. There it is. Oh, one more. One is luck. Two is good. All right. Highest contact point. Just watch the ball up there. It peaks. Go. Now, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, good. Highest contact point, accelerate. There you go. Okay, again. Like you're trying to hit the cone there. Remember, try to hit the short cone. Really smacking it down. You're tall. Come on. There it is. There you go. Remember how you're trying to smack the cone right from up top, from the service line? Try to do the same here. Highest contact point, smack it. There it is. Perfect. All right. All right. So that's it. For this drill progression, I think it's really good, especially if you're trying to work on your first serve. Second serve will be a bit different, still like a lot of speed through the shoulders, but with a different trajectory here, it's really making sure we're here, right? Highest contact point, highest contact point, right? And then the racket can, can go move accordingly. If the ball starts coming back here, start getting pushed, the ball drops too much, we end up pushing the ball a bit too much, it doesn't smack it here. So much. So you do this drill progression. I don't know. Whenever you're working on your first serve once a week, it will help a ton. I think eventually you just get more comfortable with again getting to this trophy position here and accelerating throughout the contact, right? And making sure again nice and relaxed upper body, and then really using the lower body. <laughs>